there and welcome to the political ranter show now let's move on to the topic of this video which is what the hell is happening with the tory cabinet again seriously is there any tory cabinet in recent memory that has been incompetent than this one how many regulations have we had amber rudd has just resigned as home secretary and yes it is good that she has resigned i mean i think someone should remind her of her regulation letter in case she forgets <laughs> get into why she has resigned she has resigned because of the whole winrus situation now if you do not know what the winrus situation is it is a um, situation that has arisen because of a law change in 2014 where Theresa May was Home Secretary. The law got rid of the protection that the Windrush generation had and now there's a crisis where British citizens who came from overseas as part of the Windrush generation in the 70s have been denied NHS treatment, have been threatened with deportation. Apparently there has been um, instances where some of the Windrush generation have been deported which is absolutely insane and this has become a scandal in the home office and this is why Amber Rudd has resigned. Amber Rudd's place in history has forever been written in stone as the one who took the bullet because all this doing, all this doing was Theresa May's fault because she's the one who brought in the law, she's the one who got rid of all the protection that we gave the women's generation and now she is trying to put that right by granting them British citizenship. Well, they're already British citizens anyway, but I mean, when they first came, they weren't given papers, but then when the law changed, which got rid of their protection, now they are, now they need papers to access all sorts of public services and all sorts of that. It was really a very racist law that came in in 2014, and now it's led to this entire crisis. Did do the right thing when she resigned from the Home Office and now the next one to go should be Theresa May because most of this situation is actually her doing. I really feel sorry for the women's generation and I am obviously in support of them to make sure that they have all documentations they need, all the British citizenship documents that they need at no cost to them and I hope they do get compensated by the government as well because this is really, this shouldn't have happened and it did and this is really something that needs to be sorted out ASAP. This is really the final nail in the Tory coffin isn't it? I mean how many cabinet members have been either resigned or sacked in the last year and when Theresa May promised a coalition of chaos she just didn't tell us that it was going to be her coalition of chaos but with the local elections around the corner I really hope people use their vote to show their disdain for this government because you know what local elections around the corner and if the Tories do extremely badly in the local elections then this could lead to a vote of their confidence which is something I've been hammering on about for so long but as people have said to me you know what they still have the DUP support and not enough Tories will rebel against it and because we don't have enough seats then we would lose that vote of no confidence making the whole thing pointless so I think if we are going to get a vote of no confidence we need to get support uh, from other parties and we basically need to make sure that you get an anti-Tory vote on the local elections. I mean, I will be obviously voting Labour. I've been a member of the Labour Party for a year now. And I would urge you to vote Labour because, you know, if you want a fairer social society, then you have to vote Labour. And with this latest Tory scandal and with all the issues that have been happening since the 2017 election where they lost the majority, it's just never been more clearer to me that we need to get rid of this government. I mean, I've lived under two government, two Tory governments in my life and they have been literally the worst Tory governments in history. I mean, David Cameron promised an EU referendum, which then got us into this whole crisis about Brexit, which then led to Theresa May becoming Prime Minister, and she has been a very terrible Prime Minister with the Windrush, with the Windrush scandal coming out. And this is just, honestly, how could you vote Tory after all the scandals and the, these past two governments? I just, I just don't understand it now. You know, how could the government? be so incompetent. I mean, these people have been elected to do a job and they're doing their job very, very badly and they're making people's lives a misery, especially the Windrush generation and especially people who have, who have been affected by public service cuts, benefits cuts and other cuts in their everyday lives. And this is just not what I envision a government should be. A government is there to help people and a government should be there to look out for its citizens, not cut their public services and not threaten the Windrush generation which we welcomed 
in the 70s with deportation and denied them access to NHS treatment. None of this could have come at a worse time for the Tories with a local election campaign which is this Thursday. I really hope the people who have um, been campaigning in their local areas have had fun again and I really hope that if you do not have local elections in your area I hope you travel to other areas, other local areas that do have a local elections and I really hope you do support your local socialist candidates and your local Labour candidates because this is how we're going to create change. We need to vote. If you want change you're going to have to vote for it and I think the sooner we get Tory councils unseated and the sooner that we get um, this Tory government out, that is the best way we're going to create change. Uh, Amber Rudd has resigned. Theresa May should be the next one to go in my opinion. The local elections hopefully will be very damaging to the Tories and no one really knows what's going on in Britain because one day it's this and one day it's that.